guys, I'm Sabrina, and thanks for tuning in again to our unboxings here at the Ripley's Warehouse. Today I have something so exciting for you, and I am so ready to butter your biscuit. <laughs> Let's see what we've got. So today I'm gonna to be unboxing a couple pieces from one of my favorite Ripley's artists. His name is Alfonso Azorio, and I hope you're not hungry because his work creates quite the craving. Let me show you what I mean. <laughs> First thing I see is some paint, which is pretty interesting because none of the other pieces we have in our collection of Alfonso's have paint on them. So this is the only one. And it looks like it's a Nicki Minaj, some pink acrylic. Oh my gosh, I wonder what's in the other box. It's pretty interesting also because most of his work is religious based. So to see some pop culture icons is really exciting. Wait, got a little weight to it. All right, peeking in, no paint on this one. But like I said, religious icons. This one, wait for it. <laughs> oh. Jesus. Believe it or not, Ripley's has been buying toast art for 25 years, and we own art from four different artists in four different countries. What makes Alfonso really unique is his method. So what he does is he burns the toast completely and then kind of chips away at the darker pieces to get to the lighter pieces of the bread. Other artists make kind of a tin foil stencil and put it in what I would call like a pizza oven toaster, slide it in and let that stencil create the design. So Alfonso is a little more like a relief sculpture technique, which I find really fascinating. He is a Mexican-American artist born in Texas, and as I said, with the Yeezus tidbit, uh, he is very influenced by religion, particularly the book of John, where Jesus says that he is the bread of life. And that is where the toast influence comes from. Oh. On the Nikki one, we see the pink paint, and this is the only one that he's ever created with paint. I believe it's acrylic, and it almost kind of looks like jelly on there. It makes you want to take a bite. So I'm not going to try to get in a heated debate with you guys if Kanye West is a genius or absolutely insane, but I will share with you a few buy-ons to let you choose for yourself. His name, Kanye, means the only one in Swahili, and I think he kind of takes that a little too seriously. Please don't disrupt his creative process. He once bought some curry and had it delivered from London to New York City, and it cost about $4,000 tips and he also claims to have synesthesia in my synesthesia perfect <laughs> which means that he can see sound what? so you be the judge <laughs> so strange makes Nikki look completely normal. Kanye even tried to kick her off of her verse on Monster. Uh, he told the producer Sway that she was just too good, so it was all out of pride. Let me know what you think about Kanye in the comments. So if you're not starting to crave some toast right now, you're absolutely nuts. And if you're getting that crispy urge, let me let you in on a little insider toast tip. If you toast your bread to exactly 3 minutes and 36 seconds, you're gonna get the best piece of toast. According to scientists in England who spent three months and $25,000 to create the formula for the best slice of buttered toast. What? If you wanna get really sciencey with your friends, call toasting the Maillard reaction, which is when you heat a piece of bread to 310 degrees, and the sugars in the bre bread begin to brown, and that's how toast toasts. Hmm. I hope you found Alfonso's work as unbelievable as we do here at Ripley's. If you're wondering what I'm sitting in or what was in the background of that awesome video, it is actually a fantasy coffin by the Kanye Quay Workshop at Ghana. You can find out more information on our blog. We're gonna put a link in the description for you. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Hey guys, thank you for all those likes, loves, shares, and comments on our last video. It definitely means a lot launching this new channel and we love hearing from you guys. I just wanted to share with you a few of my favorites. So on Facebook, we heard from Scott E. Buckmaster and he gave us his official approval. Also, Scotty, love the mustache. And I think we got an approval of our approval from Scotty. So that means so much to us. Over on YouTube in the comments, 
Oh, this is when we tied in our Snapchat. So I also host the Ripley Snapchat. We bring all the different oddities that are in our warehouse to life, you know, bringing the different buy-ons to you. And we tried to send everyone over on our medieval torture episode. So we asked everyone to say Iron Maiden sent me. Mark F did that and I definitely replied with a medieval buy-on about how a pig's bladder used to be used in the Middle Ages to play football. It was so disgusting that King Edward actually just canned the whole thing and they never did it ever again. Oh, also the outfit was a huge hit. Thank you, Kylie Ald, for giving me a thumbs up on that. I'll wear more sequins for you next time, I promise. My favorite definitely though has to be from Paula Dean, the Butter Queen. She's so excited that the channel, we've added another channel and some more videos are coming. So I can't wait to hear more from you. Your opinion means so much to me. I love butter, like let's be real. Love you, Paula Dean. Love it, and I can't wait to hear from all of you and everyone else in our next video. See you guys soon. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time.